Gospel-centred care, well applied, makes the people of God shine bright. The point of this training has been to develop ordinary New Testament care. It has been to continue to build our lives on the Gospel of Jesus Christ. This is both ordinary and extraordinary. God's power displayed and the church family strengthened. We've seen that God is pleased to use ordinary people to do his work. The Holy Spirit bears fruit in our lives as we care in maybe small but purposeful ways. We move toward each other, desiring to listen carefully and understand each other's heart. We point out encouragements, we carry burdens, we pray for and pray with. This is all a result of Christ's life and death and resurrection and it is in order that we may take hold of life in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. As this type of care becomes more and more normal in the culture of the church, we grow together. And in our maturing, we stand stronger in the midst of shifting emotions that pull us and rootless philosophies that surround us. The battle rages around us and we can be tempted to believe thoughts which undermine either God's love for us or our need for him. It's crucial that we recognize these thoughts as false and counter them with truth. So when we are tempted to question God's love for us, we've got to hold on to the fact that God has loved us with an everlasting love. He's taken the initiative to move towards us and he invites us to come to him. And we must remember that he loves us because of what he's like, not because of what we're like. We contemplate the extraordinary lengths he went through to love us at the cross. This is how we know what love is. And when tempted to question our need for him, we must resist the message that says, you're good enough. Believe in yourself. Jesus will give you whatever you want. No, we know that in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught us to ask for daily provision and for forgiveness. And we see throughout the Apostles' teaching the recurring encouragement to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And we read of many trials and hardships for those who follow the suffering, crucified Saviour. And yet in the midst of very real need, we are given solid hope, a heavenly banquet that satisfies the deepest needs of our souls. Interestingly, maturity comes with acknowledging neediness, like a child. We come to our Father to receive what only He can give us, and we come through and only through Jesus. As we look to grow as those who care well for others, we will no doubt have times when we feel overwhelmed by the heavy burdens that our friends carry. In these cases, we need to be wise and humble and seek the help of others, people who have had similar experiences, people who have helped those with similar experiences, helpful resources like books and podcasts and professional help. And we do this side by side with prayer and compassion this is the church in action. I want to finish now with a question. How are your conversations specifically going to be different because of what we have looked at in this training? Remember, gospel-centered care, well applied, makes the people of God shine bright. <laughs>